Good morning, everyone. I finally found my tripod. It was basically where it always had been, but I forgot. I'm gonna put a something on because this just looks like I'm blending and I don't want to blend. Really don't know if this makes it any better, but um, <laughs> hopefully it breaks up the picture. I'm starting to feel less and less normal. I want to go outside. And I know that's probably not helpful for those of you who watch this for as an escape, but like I said in my previous videos, not every day is perfect. I would just also like to open this video up by saying that another trash weight loss company is using mine and Allie's pictures, but I can't seem to find a place to message them because each page I look at has a very small following. So if you guys come across Happy Dealy, please send me a link or a message. Someone sent me a screenshot and it looks like the angle they're putting is like, she's fat, but Chad still loves her. And it's like, where the fuck are people coming up with these stories? Like old pictures of Allie and me. And you know, I'm just really irritated. And I'm trying to not let that affect the rest of my day. Also, this looks like I'm, my shoulders are really like up here. Maybe they are because I'm extra tense right now, but because of how people are so stupid. I am not in a good mood. <laughs> anyway, I thought that I would go to my Instagram stories and Twitter, but no one ever messages me on Twitter. Nathan Quinn says, what has been inspiring you recently? <laughs> I feel like this is like the worst first question I'd, I'd include in this. What's been inspiring me recently is actually, um, you know how I was talking about like this podcast idea I have for my glow pink flicks. It's actually like there's some moving parts in it now. Well, having Disney Plus and Netflix and watching movies that Allie and I love because we've been re-watching a few. That has been inspiring me to be creative and write really stupid and funny stuff. And obviously with self-isolation and everything, we can't exactly go out and I couldn't even go to California if I wanted to anyway because it's far. So this is a really cool way to stay in touch with people but also escape from everything that's going on right now. So thank you so much for that question, Nathan. I really appreciate it because it just, made me happier despite everything that's going on. Leopard Boy says, favorite Spice Girl song in the 90s and what you saw in Edinburgh. Too much is my always and I cry. And I cry and I cried. My favorite Spice Girl song is always too much or stop. And when we saw that, it was the best. My favorite version of Too Much was from their reunion tour in like 2006 or 7, I can't remember when it was. The Genster 1993 says, how am I so amazing and confident? <laughs> um, and they've been a fan since my Harry Potter makeup tutorial. I, I mean, I bring this up in every video, but I feel like there was a point in my life where I was just sick of people being like, you have to be this way because you're fat, or you have to act a certain way because you're an Asian girl, half Asian or whatever the hell. There were so many expectations of me, and I just one day was like, I'm not gonna do it because this is just what people want from me and I know what's right in my soul. I just went with it. There were so many times growing up where I was just like, I really wish that I was like these people and I really wish that I could do this. I wish I had the money to do this. Well, I probably should say yes, I'm very confident in who I am as a person and I will go out in a bikini and I will go out in all these things, but uh, whatever I want, but I am still insecure. I still have insecurities. There, like there's parts of my body I'm not happy with and that's okay. Self-love is very important, but not everyone's perfect and I'm not perfect. I'm sure as hell, like if, I, if the scale of one to a hundred is perfect, I'm at about a seven. <laughs> I think really owning what you love and owning what you care about, that's, what makes you confident in your abilities, your as a person, even things as simple as what you would like to wear. I hope that makes sense. I always get this question in any time I do a Q&A, this question always pops up and I get that this is just because maybe they're really excited for Ali and me or maybe they just really want to be a part of this, but it's not as simple. Okay, people have asked, do Ali and I want to have kids? I think this question is so invasive and I know that people don't mean for it to be 
But for the people who maybe don't understand, sometimes a woman might not want kids. Sometimes people aren't able to have kids. And maybe people have been through something traumatic. So when you ask that question, it's actually really irritating. It puts pressure on people to have kids. And it's not as simple as bringing new life into the world. There are people who can't have kids. There are people who have had miscarriages, people who have had abortions, and they don't want to talk about that. And I could have been someone in those three categories. And I hate this question because it puts pressure on me and other women to just have babies because it's something that people think is easy enough to do. And I understand and appreciate that people just think we'd have cute babies, but it's not as simple as that. Please stop asking me and every other woman in the world this question. In Glasgow, in the UK, the sun does not know what it wants to do with its life, so it either burns you or, oh my gosh, is it getting worse? Ugh. Boogie Shmoogie Doogie says, how did being plus size affect your dating life? How old were you when you had your first boyfriend? Um. Excuse me, rude son. Oh! And now we are two feet in front of this thing. The issues I had with dating people is there were people who had fetishes or they just used me because they saw that I was, uh, in my opinion, this is what I think, based on what happened. Um, they saw that I was probably insecure and that I really liked that they were giving me some attention in exchange used me for multiple different reasons and i was very naive uh, so i kind of let these people take advantage of me in that way but i think that could happen to anyone whether you're fat or thin and i had my first real boyfriend to be honest any relationship i had before ali i don't count <laughs> I had feelings, they were real, and I'm pretty sure I was in love, but I was very young and I don't even know if that counts. Like, I was 14 years old and I know that people still, like, people meet their, you know, they marry their high school sweethearts, but I don't know if what I had with this person was real love or if it was just like, I want to cling on to someone. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I do believe that love can happen and people end up marrying their high school sweethearts, but I just don't think that that was that for me. I think it was more like, I mean, the feelings were real, so I don't know. <laughs> Suzanne's WW life. Um, hi Gloria, what is one thing that Allie does that makes you smile every time? Same question for Allie. He's obviously not here, but um, one thing he does that makes you smile all the time is he does these little, um, like velociraptor screeches, and um, he does these weird dances like you saw in that video previously. And it's just, it's just nice. I love it. Veronica VSS says, are you looking for a job? Who is gonna hire right now? Like my skills are in marketing. Who's going to be doing marketing right now? I mean, if anyone knows of anything that I can do freelance or if I can, <laughs> if there are any opportunities to work remotely, please let me know. I'm not even like, I'm focusing on what I have right now. And that is my platform. But if, if there is something out there, just let me know. Jenna Foy says, once this is all settled, where would you and Ali love to travel next? I mean, Ali and I have actually discussed this already. Can't remember his top five, but I'm pretty sure he wants to go back to Vancouver. We both want to visit Austria, Japan, Toronto, or Toronto. There's a few places. I'm gonna actually let Ali answer this question. Um, I know he'll appreciate it because he has already been daydreaming. Carol's brain says, will Albus get a sibling? Yeah. We're just not sure if it'll be a cat or a dog. We think that there might be issues if we bring in another cat, but I believe that Albus is okay with dogs. Um, I just think he'd be scared of another cat. I don't know if that makes sense. Bulbasaur Candy says, what has been my favorite food during this time? To be honest, guys, like there's an Asian grocery store here that is doing deliveries still. And I really appreciate that about them because they are providing me with my spicy Korean noodles. <laughs> or Korean spicy noodles. I've just been liking instant ramen type things and having burgers with fries and I've been calling them chips. So saying fry, I had to think to say fries by the way, like a lot of Britishisms are like taking over, which is really funny. But my accent hasn't changed and I don't think it ever will. This is like kind of a side note, but people are like, I've seen a lot of memes and people I know being like, I'm gonna get so fat after this quarantine, like there are worse things than getting fat during this self-isolation thing. You know, like actually catching 
COVID-19. Like, there are worse things. And I don't think people, like, there are so many, like, I've unfollowed a few accounts as well because I'm just like, really, like, how is that helpful? Like, there are fat people who can't help being fat due to a plethora of reasons. Some people don't want to be thin. Some people just, I don't know. For me, I'm just trying to stay active. <laughs> I'm trying, I just prefer to sometimes be a lump and it's okay to want to be a lump. But I can tell what it's like on my body when I'm not moving. Aisha Shurs, Sura says sorry. <laughs> well, I say sorry, you don't say sorry. Um, <clears throat> if you got to create your own TV show, what would the premise be? P.S. You're lovely. Think about stories along the lines of fresh off the boat um, and all that because I think it'd be really cool to do a video based or a video, like a series based on what it was like growing up for me um, in a mixed race household in a poor-ish poor area that no one wanted to touch. It still like blows my mind that people avoided East Side, East, East Side San Jose and just what it was like being a tubby Asian kid. I, I think it could be really fun to tell that story and just what it was like being a teenager who, uh, I don't know, I think it'd be really fun to be like my childhood or like when I first turned 18 and gained some sort of freedom, do you know what I mean? So I think those could be really cool TV shows. Uh, Injured Heart says, me and, <laughs> they said Henry, but I think they went Ali, are stranded on a deserted island. What five items each would you take with you? I mean, if it's, we're not counting Ali and Albus because obviously they're coming with me. Um, and Albus has all his food. We have all our food. Five items I take with me would be my Nintendo Switch. Batteries upon batteries. I'd bring some hot Cheetos. In this perfect world deserted island, I would not have lactose intolerance. So I would bring, um, frozen lasagna that would not thaw. Lots of underwear. I mean, they're all lumped together, right? A raincoat <laughs> because maybe it will be very stormy and I would like to keep as dry as possible. Oh my gosh, I didn't see tweezers. I would need to pluck my mustache if I'm on a deserted island. I'm pretty sure I can, you know, whittle something into a razor and shave the necessary bits on my face or other places. But yeah, that's what I would do. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it started off with me really ranty, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow, I think. And have a great day. Bye. Bye.